so in this video we will solve this hacker hack problem diagonal difference k1 square matrix calculate the absolute difference between the sum of its diagonals so what they have done is they have added the diagonal elements that is this 159 and 359 they have added this 159 is equal to 15 and added this 359 equal to 17 they subtracted the bigger number from the smaller number and they have written the difference between them so ARR is an array of integers which is a two dimensional array they have also given a sample input and sample output they have done the same method added this 5, 11 11 5 and minus 12 and subtracted this 4 5 and 10 from it and the difference is 15 so what we need to do is we just need to complete this function we'll just go to the full screen mode we need two integers store the sum of diagonals we just give name is diagonal we need a for loop so if you observe this first diagonal 1 5 and 9 the first element is at 0 throw and 0 column this 5 is at first row and first column and this 9 is at second row and second column so according to that we need a loop we, need, we just need an one integer i and we can use this for both rows and columns as rows and columns are same so we can give any we can give any of them in this i less than error of column or I less than error of rows any of these will work then modification we also need to initialize these variables by zero also make them static diagonal 1 equal to diagonal 1 plus error of i of i so this first i denotes the number of row and the second i denotes the number of column so at i equal to 0 this first will get added into the diagonal 1 and when i equal to 1 this 5 will get added into diagonal 1 and at i equal to 2 this 9 will be added in diagonal 1 so at final result will be 9 plus 5 plus 1 equal to 15 so second step is to we have to add this 3 5 and 9 and if you observe the pattern this 3 is at 0 row but on the second column this 5 is at second row and second column second row and first column and this 9 is at third row but zero column so according to that we need a for loop if you observe rows number of rows is increasing but the number of column is decreasing so we can use this same for loop for the rows and i equal to zero i less than rows i plus plus so in the same loop we have to give another condition for column so column number is starting from the maximum column number to the minimum column number so column number is decreasing so we will give another variable j equal to here are column minus one comma 
so error of column is here is 3 because 1 2 3 they have given the number of columns here but index of an array starts from 0 so this is second column number this is not 3 because it starts from 0 so the 0 1 and 2 then we have to also give condition j is greater than equal to 0 because column number is decreasing till it is 0 and modification j minus minus so our for loop is completed so we have to just add this R of IJ and we need an loop for the for to find out which is bigger diagonal 1 or diagonal 2 diagonal 1 is bigger and diagonal 2 then we need to return diagonal 1 minus diagonal 2 else we need to return diagonal 2 minus diagonal 1 we'll just equal to q equal to there so we'll just q return diagonal 2 minus diagonal 1 then try to run it it is running successfully then we will submit it for the all the test cases are successful so this code is working so if this video helped you in any way just subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you